To be daring, baby, dance the night away I let my head down if I won Don't you just get tired chasing fame And being pretty all the time Doesn't sound like fun You can do better Let me show you what a good time looks like You can do better So much better If I want Let yourself be free And maybe you will find That there is more to life Than being pretty Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel I hope you're doing okay If you haven't seen already, I'm doing a Day of being like that girl Which basically, if you don't know what it means It means you've got your life together essentially Like you want to wake up early Just have a really productive day Go for a, like a walk, a, do a workout Watch the sunrise eat and drink healthily and things like that so for those who don't know me i'm typically not that kind of person just because i don't really like early mornings like i don't mind them when i'm up but usually i would wake up at like 20 30 minutes before i start work at the moment especially with lockdown where i'm working from home i not even lockdown but like covid in general where i'm working from home i'd wake up like 20 minutes before my shift and then I'd like have breakfast and sit at a desk for the day working and then I wouldn't really do anything other than walk dogs in the evening. So this is like a big change for me and I'm hoping it will actually help me get my life together and be more productive in general because I definitely need to start doing that. I think over the last like year and a bit I've been averaging 4,000 steps a day whereas before when I was going into the office and things like that I was doing like 12,000. So I just want to have my life together. Obviously you would have seen that I've woken up around six I think it was I've had some lemon water because that's my new favorite thing like I just like the taste of it you put like hot water over it instead of cold really really nice I've also gone for a workout I did like 35 minutes which is like a walk jog so nothing heavy because I was quite tired but just to get like my body moving I've also had a shower put my skincare and hair care on but I'm not gonna do anything with my hair yet because I'm going to let it dry naturally. It's around half eight in the morning now so I do have work in like half an hour and I need to crack on but I thought I'd show you what I've got planned for the rest of the day and what my list is and stuff. Also sorry if you can hear my dogs in the background they're like shuffling around for no reason they just want to be you know seen and heard. So I've got like a little list here of being that girl it says 5 30 to 6 a.m wake up I've had lemon water I've watched the sunrise kind of it was like on my way to where I was working out I've made the bed for the first time. I'm really, really bad at making the bed. Like, I never do that. And it's something that I've started this week while filming. I've gone for a workout, had a shower, did my skincare. I've got to aim for 10,000 steps. I've had, got to have a smoothie. I need to do my hair and makeup. I'm going to do that in a bit. I've got quite a few meetings today, so I really need to look kind of presentable. Have lots of coffee because I need it for waking up at 6 o'clock in the morning. I need to do some journaling, which is basically like planning my day and also writing down how I feel and just taking care of my mental health and then I need to do my evening skincare. So I've been actually doing this all week. Um, I've already like filmed a whole vlog for it but when I went to edit it last night I realised that all the footage was really dark and grainy because obviously getting up at six o'clock in the morning it, when it's rainy and going into autumn it's really dark and I didn't think to use a ring light which is what I'm using now to kind of brighten it up a bit. So I've had to scrap all of that and I'm just doing a whole day now, which is probably easier than what I should have done in the first place. But it does mean that I've kind of learned something across the week, which is that being that girl is different for everyone. And if you're trying to like force yourself to be that girl, you're not going to enjoy it. So I've been trying to like do so much throughout the days that I've ended up really drained by like 3, 4 p.m. instead of just like listening to my body, listening to how I feel and just enjoying the process. I do think it does help you be more productive. Like I've got so much done already before I even start work. 
I've felt better within myself because of the amount of water I've been drinking and the amount of steps I've been doing. And I just feel a bit healthier, which is something I'm gonna continue doing. But I do wanna say this is unachievable for most people. Obviously I work 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. and getting up at 5.30 in the morning isn't gonna be feasible for me every day because I'm gonna be tired, I'm gonna be really drained. I've gotta be focused for when I'm actually at work. So please do not feel like if you're not doing this, you're not doing enough because you definitely are. Excuse my terrible writing, but I love this diary like journal type thing. I don't use it enough, I've had it a while. It's from CDG, I believe. C yeah, CGD. It's called the Getting Stuff Done one. I think it was quite expensive, but it is good to plan your day. So I just like write a little quote here with a date. A main thing about my day is obviously this vlog, so I've written it out here. I aims, practice self-care because I know I don't do that enough. Do my to-do list, which is obviously this thing here, and then go to work. I write a couple of affirmations. Usually I don't write these down, I just say them to myself, but I thought I'd write them down today. So you can keep track of your food here to make sure you're eating healthily. Anything you need to buy, so cat food is on my list because my cat's run out of his food and he's been begging me all day for some. And then just exercise, water, self-care here. So anything I do, I'll just put there when it's done. And just a little note to take care of myself. So it's now around one o'clock and I need to get ready. Usually I would get ready, like if I was doing my makeup in the morning, so like after you've showered, you then do your hair and makeup and stuff. I genuinely didn't have time this morning, like even though I woke up at six o'clock in the morning, by the time I got to nine, I did not have time to get ready from where I'd like gone for a workout and stuff like that. So that's one thing I think is like really hard if you like have a full-time job, or even if you work part-time, you've got to be somewhere in the morning, it's really hard to try and fit everything in before you go to work. I do think getting up and getting ready is a massive part of being that girl though. Like you're not necessarily getting up and doing your hair and makeup every day. So I don't think that's feasible. Like I, there's no reason, especially if you're just sat at home doing nothing, to get up and do your hair and makeup unless you want to, unless that makes you feel good. But for me, I just can't be bothered with that. Like, don't get me wrong, I love wearing makeup. If I'm going out, I prefer to put makeup on just or do my hair just to make myself feel a bit more confident. But like, sat in the house, I've got no time for that. But I do feel like just getting dressed for the day does make you feel better about yourself and like more productive. But I am gonna get ready, do my makeup now. If I have time after that, I'm gonna go for a walk because I need to get some more steps in. Not sure if I will though. Um, so let's do my makeup.
Okay, so that's my makeup done. I haven't done anything with my hair. So I know it doesn't look the best, but I also don't need to start it today. So what we're gonna do is if it gets too much, we're gonna rock the claw clip look and that's that. It's now 1.33, so it took me about half an hour to get ready and film everything, which isn't too bad considering I've done like a full face, not like a heavy glam face, but like just a, there's stuff everywhere. So I've done that. I've now got about 20 minutes to go for a walk if I want to. I haven't had any lunch though, so I'm not sure which one to prioritise because I can then have just eat lunch while I'm working later. But because the sun is out, I might go for a quick walk, with, listen to a podcast. I'm loving, I think it's called Happy Place at the moment. Let me have a look. Yeah, Fern Cottons, I believe, Happy Place. I'm really, really liking that at the moment. I find that podcasts are like a great way to unwind and especially if you want to go for a walk but you don't really enjoy walking on your own put a podcast in it can be anything there's a really funny one i think it's Chris ramsey's one with his wife which is called shagged married annoyed and i find that so so funny like i will literally be cackling laughing on my own while watching that one so if it turns out you like there's everything like podcasts for everything so definitely recommend podcasts and go on like hot girl walks that's what they were called over summer like go for a hot girl walk so you want to put a podcast in go for a walk do a mile do two miles do whatever you want but just like enjoy it i might go for one of those now hopefully i can get it done in 20 minutes i can just go like around the block so let's get on with it because otherwise we're gonna be late again dinner I've just had like a chill one I'm gonna go for another walk later cause, just because I need to do a dog walk so I'm currently at 9,000 steps I think yeah I'm at 8,949 so by the time I've done a dog walk I'll hit 10,000 the only thing that I haven't done on my list so far was the 10,000 steps and taking my like makeup off and doing my evening skincare so I'm gonna do that now overall I do feel quite good like I don't feel that tired at the moment I think it might be because I've been doing it all week but, like it in general I feel quite good like I feel quite healthy and energetic and I do feel like I've had like a really really productive day I feel like you can get so much more done when you wake up early before work and things so I do like definitely recommend doing this once in a while I don't think it's like feasible or possible to do this every day unless you've got like a really really good schedule and you get used to it because I think for me I won't sleep enough to do this every day like I still go to bed about half 11 12 ish which means I'll be getting like six hours sleep at night at the most and that's just not sustainable I think you shouldn't pressure yourself into having to be this like perfect productive person every day because that's not realistic that's not life that's all I've got for today thank you so much for watching I will see you in the next one I think the next one's gonna be a weekly vlog and then the one after that is going to be another London vlog before my birthday vlog because so I've got the next few weeks planned I'm really enjoying being cons oh, just poke my cat in the face I'm really enjoying being consistent and I'm so so grateful for anyone that watches so thank you so much